Welcome to our third in the series of Top Rewind Location videos we have produced where we look back at our island series in a quick and easy short format video so it's hopefully easy for you to view. We reflect on areas that we have travelled in our nine week trip of Ireland and try to pick out our top three locations and that has not been easy. Hopefully these may be a consideration for an upcoming trip you may have and if not maybe just a few minutes for you simply to sit back enjoy a collage of memories that Ireland continuously delivered to us. The locations have been chosen maybe for a simple view or a walk or a place of interest that has simply invoked an emotion and a memory for us. This is the third video in the top three location series and it's the smallest of the southwest peninsulas called the Sheep's Head Peninsula. Don't be fooled by the fact it is the smallest as it contains some of the most dramatic views. Now this peninsula packed a mighty punch of island history, as well as the serenity of the wild coastline and dramatic seas hitting the rocks. So our top three for you to consider have been narrowed down to the following. The number one location to while away a couple of hours is the pretty village of Durris. Now it's at the start of the peninsula and it's worth a quick look around at the small village that has a couple of pubs and restaurants. You can walk around the village and then along the tidal estuary that passes St James Church. And the waters have many wading birds to admire. And on the opposite bank is the old grain store that then became a workhouse in its history. Oh, and if you happen to find a hat there, it's Stew's. And if you're in a camper van, try out the unique Park for Night private location that a very generous resident allows you to stay at. And it really should be experienced and respected. And it's within a mile of the village. We loved it so much that we actually stopped two nights that allowed us to explore the local circular walk. Number two must visit location is the Sheep's Head Lighthouse Walk. This location is at the tip of the peninsula and is a good 90 minute walk but is reasonably flat in its elevation. And as you walk you'll be able to see both the Mizzen Peninsula to the south and the Bearer Peninsula to the north. Following the power lines that guide the footpath that takes you close to the cliff with dramatic views. And the lighthouse is the prize at the end of the walk and it's really small but accessible for that photo shoot. And on a sunny day you could pack a lunch or a snack and simply sit and get absorbed in the landscape. The only drawback is there is no dogs allowed even on a lead. There is a cafe there but fortunately because we're out of season it was closed. Our final number three location is the town of Bantry. Now Bantry defines the end of the Sheep's Head Peninsula and the start of the Bearer Peninsula. Now unfortunately we had lost a lot of video footage, but our memory of the location is still there. This colourful town has many independent shops and simply meandering around the streets is an absolute must. The wide central area, which was once actually the harbour, is now filled in and it hosts regular markets. And if you're lucky, the sourdough man will be there selling his breads and try them as they're absolutely gorgeous. And also, there's a very small, unusual Bantry Historical Museum at the rear of the fire station and it's worth a visit. And it's full of really quirky local memorabilia. And to say it's unusual is an understatement. Well, that is our three top locations to consider around the Sheep's Head Peninsula. So do you agree with our top three? Or are there other gems we should have added or indeed missed completely that's in your top three? Drop them in the comments as we may look at them when we return to Ireland.